80 bucks is what he's trying to make. Eighty bucks of uh, seven hundred and thirty-eight dollars a month. That's a nice little bite out of that. What happens if you just made eighty dollars a day? You, the first, the, the person listening to this that has a rent payment or a mortgage payment or a car note that you knew damn well you shouldn't have bought that car. It was too much money for you to buy it, but you had to impress your friends. If you had eighty dollars. Three times a week. What would that do for your finances? See, that's how I teach. I try to be a voice of reason so that we understand, number one, if you can get to that point and be consistent about it and not get juiced up on the emotions or lulled in to with greed. Oh, man. <sighs> I saw this guy on YouTube. Oh, my goodness, man. He just literally just did $10,000. I got to do that. Ask the guy to do $10,000 to show you the same account for six weeks. I'll wager that you're not seeing $10,000 growth on the same account. But you'll receive that because it's enticing. That enticement is a big selling point. Like if I was a piece of shit, I could literally market my ass and do all kinds of shit and make millions of dollars every week. That's not my motive. My motive is to teach people how to do this. And I do it for free. I'm giving you something that you, you don't have in, any entitlement to. My son's real approach that he's going to be going in and trade with. He's risking 40 bucks. to make 80 for NASDAQ that's a really simple model if you look at the silver bullet which is his model that's his trading model I'm not hiding that from you I'm not hiding it at all I set up yesterday if you look at your one minute chart this is the interactive part if you're not able to look at the charts right now if you're driving just know that you know you can Send yourself a tweet or send a tweet to me to make sure that this is what you're looking for. I'm sure somebody else is going to tweet a chart and show you the, the actual moment. But at 1 p.m. and 56 minutes after, so 1.56 p.m. New York local time yesterday, that very one-minute fair value gap was the 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. silver bullet. Your entry would have been in the 2.41 time, all New York local time. That model was right there. Some of you out there trying to teach my silver bullet on YouTube and other places. Uh, I did not say that the fair value gap forms in and only between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. You're trading a fair value gap between the time of 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. You're trading a silver bullet that's traded to between the hour of 10 a.m. and 11 a.m for the AM session. You're trading a London session, silver bullet, between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. New York local time. You have three fucking chances to do this model. When you get one, you stop, Cameron. Stop. You don't do another one. You don't push it again. You don't try to get more. You stop. If you have a losing trade, you stop. You don't try to get it back that day. You stop. You don't need top step to come in and say, well, oh, you lost half your account because that's what you're doing. You're losing half of your account. And some of you are bitching. It's only a thousand dollars. I got 50,000. You got nothing. You have nothing. You have a facade. You have a fucking illusion that money's not there. But you don't see that you have to be stopped. That is a very good thing. It's a good thing to have that in place. But you're, 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 viewing it, you're viewing it and seeing it as this is an obstacle. Well, it fucking is an obstacle if you're trying to trade with five minis. 
and you can only afford to lose a thousand dollars let me tell you something i'm fucking inner circle trader if i'm trading five minis and i can only lose a thousand dollars or have drawdown at that point before i'm stopped out i have to be really fucking dialed in and look at this market right now look at it it's funky it's wonky it's it's got all kinds of little fucking shitty quirky things that's going on in it you have to be realistic folks and if this is all about making money not dick measuring this is how you make money one fucking micro contract and you can only trade one micro contract in addition to that when you make two thousand dollars so if you make $2,000 and you make another $2,000 after that, you have made what? You have $6,000 in play. 4000 of it is realized gain. Now, at that point, you can trade with three micro contracts. So now you're trading with $6 per point on NASDAQ. So your scaling is your your stop loss. Listen, listen, folks. How many trades could you have avoided being stopped out or being scared from holding anymore if you can afford to use a 20 handle or 20 point stop loss on NASDAQ? And it only takes 40 bucks from you if you're wrong. But you stand to make 80 bucks if you're right. You got three silver bullets a day. But I can't trade London. Okay, find one that works. But I can't do Then you have to make changes in your personal life. I can't fix every fucking thing. These are the rules, okay? You have to bend to them. They don't fucking bend to you. That's what a trader is. The trader is a person that follows the rules, and the rules are there to fucking protect them on the long term. If you can't see that, you can't fucking trade. Period. I don't give a fuck who's telling you any otherwise. That's the reality. You have to have discipline. You have to have control. And the only way you forge those two things is to operate in the realm of having rules. And I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up your fucking asses and give you all roses and candy bars and say, it's going to be so easy. Look, you're never going to have to fucking worry about doing anything that's complicated. It's going to be hard. It's going to be fucking extremely hard. It's going to be hard for you to follow the rules. It's going to be hard for you to find a way for you to get in front of the fucking charts because guess what? A lot of you are afraid to just be wrong. Let me, let me tell you a story.